This is the Rundown with Rubio for Wednesday, January 31st, 2024. Everything happens for a reason. Back in August, UPS got a union contract going where drivers were going to be paid $170,000 per year. So a driver of a UPS truck was going to get $170,000 per year. Everyone's like, wow, this is the greatest thing in the world. Yay, 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 pro-union. And now they're slashing 12,000 jobs to cut costs. Who, who didn't see this coming? You, you can't just, this is like raising the minimum wage and certain things like McDonald's and Burger King and all those places. Once you have to start paying people more, someone has to keep making their money. So that if you're going to pay people more, then you're going to have to slash other costs. This was a no brainer. Who thought this was going to work? There are winners and losers in life. <laughs> Democrat Representative Robert Garcia of California gave a speech stating that, quote, and I'm going to read this for you, the Donald Trump and MAGA plan for the border is alligator moats, bombing northern Mexico, shooting migrants in the legs, and electrifying the fence and putting spikes on them. <laughs> that seems a little bit aggressive. And the, the best part is people on the right are looking at this and going, yeah, it sounds like a pretty decent plan if we're going to shut down the border. So this guy has this wild thing about moats and alligators and all that. And it's kind of backfired because everyone on the right is like, uh, not, a, not a bad deal, dude. Uh, except an embrace. U.S. Navy veteran Michael Cassidy has been charged with a hate crime for beheading a statue of Satan at the Iowa Capitol. So this guy, there's a statue of Satan in the Iowa Capitol. He goes and boom, knocks it over, beheads it, and he has a hate crime. The irony of this is so thick that people are tearing down statues all over the country, basically in the D.C. area, a lot of them, and nothing happens to them. They're spray painting them, they're tearing them down, they're beheading them, they're removing them, and no one gets charged with a hate crime at all. The, the, these are on video. Like, I mean, there's no doubt about it. You can see cops literally just watching them. This guy does it to a statue of Satan. And I don't want to get into a holy war with anyone, but this is kind of a big deal. This guy, hate crime, everyone else, man, eh, no worries. Working hard is not enough. The leader of China, Xi, has promised Joey B not to interfere in the 2024 election. <laughs> okay, so number one, are we asking permission from other countries now not to interfere in an election? And number two, does this mean that he interfered in the previous election? What, what's happening here? What, what, why do we need this? I don't understand. What, what's, so either he did before or he's not now, or what, why is Joey B asking permission, or what, what's happening? Confidence is the key. Ed McCaffrey and Mike Shanahan won three Super Bowls back in the day, and now their sons, Christian and Kyle, have a chance to win as well on the 49ers. That is a wild, wild, wild stat. Go 49ers. I mean, that is, that's a, that's a wild stat to say the least. If you have any questions, you can email Rubio at the Rubio method.com. Let's get going, gang. Our dedicated staff is ready to work for you. Artbeat specializes in custom apparel. Call us or order online. Free shipping nationwide. Custom printed shirts are our specialty, and we make sure you get exactly what you want. Bring in your own design or let our team create one for you. Promote your business, event, or club with pens, caps, bottles, mugs, and more. Crazy cool since 1985.